Hello everyone, this is uh, Rich Maysano for Stella Aircraft. Um, we're here at Sun and Fun 2022, and um, there's been a, a, a recent uh, feature that Garmin has put into our Garmin G3Xs, um, not only in Arbor Stells, but other Garmin G3X applications. And I think you guys are gonna like this one, uh, specifically if you have a Rotax 912 IS, or a 915 uh, IS turbo engine. So I'm going to get into our, our show plane here that we have at Sun and Fun. I'm gonna boot up the avionics and I'm gonna show you what Garmin has put in to the system so we know if we have a lane light come on with our Rotax engine, what the problem uh, is pointing to. So, let me uh, get into the airplane and I'll show you what we're gonna do. So we're gonna boot up the, um, the G3X uh, system. I'm just gonna turn on the, uh, the left GDU. What we're going to see when it pops up is of course the opening screen. What we see sometimes is we get a lane light and we don't know what the lane light is. Okay, the lane light could be flashing, the lane light could be on solid. Um, by all means, follow what your emergency procedures and your POH says to do with your lane lights, okay? What we're doing is I'm just giving you the information, okay, to see what the problem actually uh, is, is pointing to. So what we wanna do um, if we have a, a lane light going on, um, you're going you're gonna to see right now we have lane A light on, okay? We don't know what the problem is. All we have is engine ECU. So if we hit the split screen and we go to our engine page, uh, we hit the menu button. Now we have this button here, FADEC information. Hit the FADEC information, and we see our engine hours, throttle position, sensor position, and we have a lane A status, caution, and we have an ambient pressure sensor fault, an ambient temperature sensor fault. So, what we're seeing here is an indication that we have something wrong with uh, this one sensor. Take a picture for us, and we can try to help you out with trying to figure out uh, what your problem is. Um, as we all know, if you recycle your lane switch, a lot of times uh, the lane light will go out and we won't have any information. So that's why I'm asking you to take a picture first with the fault. Now, um, after uh, you reset the lane, the faults will go away and we will have uh, a clear screen again and we'll be back uh, to normal. So again, this is just a tip to help us diagnose the problem. I am not telling you to continue to fly if the manual uh, says not to. Um, I hope that helps. Uh, any questions that you can have with a lane call and uh, signing off from Sun and Fun 2022.